Slowly and laboriously, from rocks and tablets of stone, the historians have pieced together a picture of the ancient world, and their knowledge is final and certain and irrefutable. At least, it was until that day when a man named Ramos happened to glance heavenward. For nearly 12 centuries before the birth of Christ, the name of Phoenicia looms large in the history of Western culture. The Phoenician peoples were the traders of the old world, the navigators, the discoverers of new routes and new lands. But even for such daring spirits as these, the world had limits. Beyond the Mediterranean itself lay the great mysterious sea, and there they did not go. So the historians tell us, and so we have always believed, and strangely enough, we go on believing it, despite the startling discovery that a man named De Silva Ramos made... Senor Ramos was a noted Brazilian archaeologist. He and a group of fellow scientists were engaged in a research project in the mountains of the Javier region near Rio de Janeiro. On a certain afternoon, they entered a narrow defile that ran between two sheer walls of rock. And before traversing it, they sat down to rest. One of Ramos' colleagues sniffed the air. I think we're in for a little rain, Dr. Ramos. It will not come before evening. The sky is still quite clear. Mm, you can't see much sky from here. No, but if you look straight up there, you can... You can... Good heavens! What in the world is that? What? Carved in the rock, halfway up. Is not that writing of some sort? Ah, by George. I think you're right. It's an inscription. The characters are at least three feet high. How could anyone possibly have carved them in that inaccessible spot? And who could have carved them? That is the real mystery. I don't recognize the characters at all. And neither do I. They are certainly not Indian or Inca. By heaven, I am going to find out what they are. After he had returned to Rio, Senor Ramos lost no time in arranging for climbing equipment to be carried into the mountains. And a few weeks later, he published his opinion on the origin of the strange writing. I know that my findings will be regarded with considerable skepticism. For if I am correct, then the history of the world needs to be rewritten. And yet I have no choice but to state what I believe to be the truth. The inscription I discovered is in the language of the Phoenicians. Since that time, Senor Ramos' opinion has been supported by numerous other authorities, among them the renowned Professor Schwenhafen. And yet the logical conclusions to be drawn from the opinion have been ignored by the whole world. We prefer to pay homage to Columbus as the discoverer of America and to disregard the evidence that he arrived 3,000 years after the real discoverers though that evidence happens to be incredible, but true. 